We're getting ready to go live on this Monday morning. Monday morning. Happy Monday. I'll pause that for a minute. Just want to make sure everybody gets online. It's Monday morning. Feels like the middle of the week to me. Um, ladies and gentlemen, everything is up. Everything is running. Thank you, God. Right, let's go. Let's start. And I'll catch up with you, ladies and gentlemen, on the other side. of this march um, we've only just managed to get out of Hyde Park and there is just well let's see if you can see as far as the eye can see both ways it's electric there are so many people here um, and a lot of men and a uh, in a beautiful way. Um, there's, this goes on for miles and miles. And everybody, everybody is just here. They just want the same thing. They just want to be pro-choice. All Good morning, good morning world. It's me, Rory Alec. Whether you're in India, right across Asia, time to dust the sleep out the eyes and it's time to wake up and shine. Casting from the heart of Europe, it's me here in Austria. To you guys out there, a big God bless you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Time to celebrate! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That's right, Jesus is alive, he's on the throne. Nice to be in orbit. And he loves you this morning. <laughs> the chickens are up, the rooster's crowing. It's time for. Good morning, world! Good morning, world! Me, Rory Alec, great to be with you this morning, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. We were. <laughs> it's Monday morning. We are fast approaching the end of a month, the beginning of a week, 28th of June. It's just gone past the hour here in the heart of Europe. It's me, Rory Alec. Lovely to be with you. Ladies and gentlemen, on this Monday, we've got a busy week ahead. I'm not sure what your week is lined up for. <clears throat> but as I was preparing the program yesterday, checking out all of my social media pages, what was going on in the world, because Saturdays I'm kind of out. I don't really look at the media and the social media and the Facebooks and the YouTubes and everything else. I'm kind of just shabbatting. It's my day of rest if I can get it. Uh, this Saturday was eh, in the garden, <laughs> catching up on all those garden chores. You know, we have to... Anyway, you know, you've got to get things done in and around the house and everything else. So doing some putting up things and taking down things and trimming things and cutting things. But <clears throat> started preparing the program on Sunday, sort of back to work for me. And um, what was this march all about in London? I mean, hundreds of thousands, many on social media saying uh, upward of a million people and were marching in the streets of London on this Saturday, Saturday the 26th, while I was resting and doing some house chores, hanging out with my girls. And um, 
it seemed like a really big thing. And I'm fascinated by it. So on today's show, we're going to look at this hundreds of thousands marching in London on the weekend, marching for freedom of choice. We also, um, on Good Morning World, we need you. We need you to share, subscribe, join the encouragers. I'll talk a little bit about that on this morning's program. We're going to do a sort of blast into the past. I'm going to take you back two years ago when we were barbecuing in 2018. And I was talking about vision and I was talking about buying a little table. In fact, that one over there. And daily grind and how I'm going to launch this daily program Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday where I pray in the Holy Spirit <clears throat> and I shared with my patrons. <laughs> and uh, would you believe it now, some 200 plus programs that my patrons and I have put together and have access to, lots of praying has been done, of course, that's the most beautiful thing. And I have to pause for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear that behind me? Good morning, world. Last week, the whole week, they were busy building hair just outside the Mustard Seed Studios, preparing and tearing up the roads. and it just. But today, they warned us, today over the next few days, yes, today and tomorrow, we're going to be paving. <laughs> so I apologize. If you can hear that noise, I hope you can't because this is a very close mic here. So normally, if I move off here, you don't hear... So hopefully you're not hearing that distraction. But it has been distracting me. I've gone and closed everything. So our mustard seed sauna is now fully in operation. So for the next few moments, we'll be I'll be sweating together with you. <laughs> it's one of those Mondays. I woke up with a really crazy dream. I share, I share this with my, my patrons tomorrow on Daily Grind, but in de in, in, I will share it in detail. Um, but... I had this cookie. <laughs> in my dream, we were sitting in a cafe somewhere rustic. It was kind of like an inside-outside. The, the doors all open, and inside was like a little coffee shop, and we were sitting on the outside patio. And But there was a special doorway that was a sp access to somewhere where you could get to very quickly and efficiently. And it was a, a, a bit of a mystery doorway. But anyway, there was this lady with a tour guide, and she had a bag of cookies that she'd baked, and she was coming through the cafe. And as she was on her way to go through this door to catch a flight, you know how weird dreams can be, she offered everybody cookies, including the owner of the cafe, who was serving us. We, we didn't know him, but we were just enjoying the day out and, and enjoying the coffee. And so we all tucked into these cookies and tried them, and they were the most delicious and rich and sweet and I mean if you could imagine everything that's favorite about a cookie that you love put it all into this one cookie that she had baked and then taste it and then multiply it by a hundred times in other words this is ridiculously amazingly wonderfully rich with everything you love about your cookie but by the time I'd got to bite number three, and everyone was looking at me, and they were all trying, and they were all going, ooh, and ah, and wasn't this amazing? And I got to bite number three, and that was it. I couldn't take another bite. In fact, it, it upset me so much that when I awoke, I could still taste this cookie in my mouth. And, it, and I'd had this experience of, you know, when you're so satiated, so full, so topped up over the top, that you never, ever want to have something like that again. Your, your cell memory is f fully memorized. It's like, I will never forget that taste, and I never, ever want that taste again. So I ended up giving the rest of my cookie to the others that were around me, including my darling wife. And I don't know what that meant, but it woke me up this morning, and it's kind of set my day. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous, right? A, a dumb, crazy dream. And for those of you who are very much more spiritual, you probably go, ah, there's probably something in that. Well, I don't think about those things too much unless it's specifically clear to me. And then I go, okay, fine. But So that's my Monday. Kicked off with one of those dreams. I was like, okay. And I'm slightly frazzled about it. And then, of course, I've had to put this program together because our streaming went off this morning. So what you're watching right now is not live live because... We've had some technical challenges, the first time, I might say, after 44 programs of Good Morning World. But nevertheless, we'll get things sorted out. So yes, 
marching through London, hundreds of thousands, maybe even upward of a million. Hmm, very interesting. What else will be happening on the program today? Well, uh, I'll be sharing from the grinder this morning some things that I actually had shared with my patrons earlier today. I would like to share that with you. I think it will be a an encouragement in spite of my cookie drama. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? It really disturbed me. Really disturbed me. Uh, the cookie that had the taste and the, the feeling of this is going to be the best cookie I've ever had. And by the time I got to bite number three, it was the worst thing. I never want it again. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to see it. And the dear old lady who baked it, I don't know what her role was in the whole dream. This was not a great experience. <laughs> it's a happy Monday. Oh, my goodness me. Coming up after the break. Well, actually, I do want to focus a little bit on the news today. Uh, Rory's take on the news. What is this all about in London? And it's not just London. It's um, this whole COVID-19, to the point where it's really, even in our own household, we have different points of view on it. In my gut instinct, um, I think there's something wrong in so many ways. Is there a virus? Absolutely. Does it kill people? Sadly. Um, in fact, I lost a very dear friend, thanks in part to COVID last week, which is really sad. And um, so this is a happy Monday with a sad tinge, starting from cookies, which is just nonsense, all the way to knowing that I won't be able to hug my dear friend um, until I get to the other side. But there's something about this COVID that it's not right. And um, I'm going to play this video. Not everything that it says do I agree with, but it's something that will help us focus on where we're at and why we're at this position here. Let me play this. February 2020, COVID-19 seemed like just another foreign virus, but it wasn't. It was different in many ways, and so were those who were setting the agenda. During Spanish flu in 1918, the average age of death was 26. For COVID-19, it was 84. For COVID-19, it was 84. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. All over the world, we're seeing the devastating impact of this invisible killer. Believe nothing you're being told. It's all a pack of lies. You, the general public, you've got a thing called common sense. Common sense. Common sense. In Sweden, we have chosen the voluntary way, and it's proven to be sustainable, uh, and it's proven also to be effective. Even other countries will now have to rethink what they're doing to a great extent that we have to do, uh, and we see where it's all going to end up. If if we understand that masks don't work and social distancing doesn't work and travel bans don't work and lockdowns most certainly don't work, well, guess what? Nothing works. A year ago now, Sean and I went to Sweden to meet their chief epidemiologist, Anders Stegnell, the only man in Europe who seemed to be treating this pandemic with common sense. With no lockdowns, no school closures and no masks, they achieved half the excess death rate that we did in 2020. Good morning world! So highly controversial, probably over a million people descended on London heading to uh, Downing Street, chanting anti-lockdown slogans, waving banners, placards. The thing that fi I find quite strange is arguably it's, it's been a very substantial, peaceful demonstration in the UK. Uh, some think it's the largest, of course, but... Uh, whether it's not the largest or not is not the point. The point is, it should have made headline news, totally eclipsing 
uh, for example, the Matt Hancock resignation or the Miami tragedy, which is really sad, and our hearts go out to those folks, or, or the Welsh defeat. Yet not the not a, not the BBC or the ITV cameras were there. N no reporters in sight. It's like a, a deliberate total blackout on the news. Not even a mention. And the question for me is why? It should have at least had substantial media coverage when you've got so many people marching through. I mean, and there you've got it. Thank God for social media because their independence of the mainstream news can actually capture, photograph, and do their own reports, put it up on Facebook. And everything you saw there right now a few moments ago was coming from YouTube and my social media uh, timeline. So the second thing is I do agree. One thing I do say is you and I have to address with this with common sense. And it's difficult. For me as a believer in Christ and having a faith and knowing where my eternity is, indeed, Scripture teaches me that I am living my eternity already. Yes, my physical body will pass, but my spirit, my soul, will move on and continue eternally. And so, from my perspective, whether there's COVID or not, whether there's shenanigans or not, whether there's conspiracy or not, and by the way, don't be so quick to call people conspiracy theorists. It's better that everyone can talk reasonably and rationally and really work towards finding out what is the truth. There's so much politics involved. There's so much power play. There's so much finance. The love of money, the root of all evil, I have no doubt is at the heart of all these dynamics. And of course, the spirit of fear is rampant. And so I do agree with that little video piece. The one thing I absolutely agree with is common sense. You and I have to take care in terms of common sense. So I don't want to say any more about that on this morning's program because I don't think we can do it justice and I don't have the right people joining me on the show. In the future, we will. We will be in a position that we will have live interviews and we'll have people joining us. Um, I want to have a greater team helping me because I don't, just don't have enough time in my week uh, to do the research, to pull together the programs and then to pr produce them, present them, upload them, get them onto live streaming, which, by the way... Didn't happen this morning. This is this is up, up, uh, uploaded later on because we had some problems with the internet here, whether it's the repairing the roads or something. But we've had some real dramas today. But um, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'd be interested to know what you think. And I know many of you could write reams and reams of pages. Some of you have done in the past about this. I know this is a a very passionate, hot topic that causes, in some cases, people to become really harsh and nasty. That's not what I'm asking. I'm just saying I'd be interested to know what you think. Um, let me know. Uh, let me know. Because these are things that I would like to cover in greater depth. I have no desire for Good Morning World to be a news channel. That's not what it is. But I do, I will bring you my take on these things. And we are in a difficult time right now because it's hard to know what is true. What is the real truth? That's the thing that I find the most frustrating for me personally is where do I find the real truth on all of this dynamic? So, coming up after the break... Good morning, world! Got to do it. We got to do it. It's birthday time. We're going to start for yesterday, which says today, 27th of June. It's not the 27th today. It's Monday the 28th. But for Sunday the 27th of June, Aldo Finetti, happy birthday. Mary Ann Koch, I hope you had a wonderful Sunday yesterday. Christina Salem Ludwig, Norman Garrison Sr., happy birthday for Sunday yesterday. And then let's move on to Monday today. Annie Ruch, happy birthday, dear Annie. It says tomorrow, but it is today. It's Monday the 28th. Doug Lackey, happy birthday, sir. Donna Dermott is doing a fundraiser for Refuge for Women. So Donna, I hope you smash through your goal of 168 euros and I hope you have a splendid day today. Um, Adam Mackenzie Stewart, happy birthday, Adam. Uh, I pray blessings on you and your loved ones as they celebrate your birthday. And then Desmond Frey, happy birthday. On this Monday, the 28th of June. Uh, Julie Ridstall. Julie is doing a fundraiser for my myeloma. UK, myeloma UK. Uh, Julie, I hope you hit your goal. And uh, 
That's wonderful that you're doing a fundraiser on your birthday. And then Steve Muncy. Well, brother Steve, happy birthday all the way across in America there. And then Sam, Reverend Sam from India. Happy birthday, Sam. Rudy de Luna, Luna, happy birthday, Rudy. The Lord bless you on this day. And my goodness me, there goes the computer rushing away there. Oops, let's go back. Pause it there. Kath Elika, happy birthday. And then lovely Sapana, happy birthday for this Monday, the 28th of June. I can't believe June is just about wrapped up. I tell you, I've, pretty soon, no cookies, but we're going to be <laughs> singing. I wish you a Merry Christmas at the rate that 2021 is vapid, rapidly evaporating. Oh, my goodness me. I hope you have a wonderful birthday today, ladies and gentlemen, and you are spoiled and blessed by your loved ones, your friends, your family. And we thank God for you. We here on the Good Morning World community. Happy birthday. Good morning, morning, morning. So two years ago, I was envisioning all of what's actually happening right now in 2021. I had this idea of Spirit Soul Body Vlogs, which I'm going to go back and show you a piece of one of my Spirit Soul Body Vlogs. Vlog number 16, in fact. A little garden, which belongs to my brother and sister, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And we were having a day with them. It was a lovely spring day, barbecue, and I was just talking vision, talking about a little table. In fact, that one over there that's now experienced over 200 programs that have been filmed, recorded, its purpose to hold the grinder where I turn that every weekday morning and I'm praying and having my quiet time before the Lord. So I want to share that with you because in amongst that sharing there, I'm also talking about uh, vision and what will come and forming a community. And I think that's one thing I would love to invite you to. Join our community. Share this. Some of you have been so wonderful. You've been sharing this Good Morning World to your friends and putting it on your, your, your social media, and it's been really appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, sharing, giving a thumbs up, a like, depending on where you're watching it. Some of you watch it on Facebook Live. Some of you watch it YouTube Live. Or like this Monday, the 28th of June, you're not watching it live at all because <laughs> the whole internet crashed here at the Mustard Seed Studio. And I think it's got something to do with the, the gentleman uh, out there tearing up the road and redoing the roadworks outside. But hey, we prevail. This was uploaded later on, and I'm with you here on this Monday, the 28th of June. So without further ado, let's hear me just talking about life and doing a little bit of barbecue. <laughs> A big God bless you for me, Rory Alec. Just a quick catch up with you on this uh, beautiful spring day. The garden's fantastic. You hear the birds worshiping the Creator. And uh, yep, I'm barbecuing. And I've enjoyed it immensely. And uh, let's check the meat quickly. Appreciated the ability to be creative and capture little pieces of the week and put them together and share them with you guys. I really appreciate it even more hearing from you. Thank you for all the good comments and uh, some of the critiques. Appreciate those. They always help me hone my creative skills and improve on my storytelling or my vlog telling. For all of you who've subscribed to YouTube, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And um, if you haven't subscribed to YouTube, please do subscribe. But I really do feel to put together a, a network or a community of like-minded people. Uh, we all have, we all are spirit beings. We have an intellect, soul, mind, and live in a body. And um, I'm looking for that tribe or that group of people. You may have followed me over the many years on God TV, and. Um, or you may have just met Rory Alec through YouTube and the vlogs or Facebook. And um, I'm looking for those of you who have a resonance, you know, you kind of connect. We feel uh, not everybody's meant to work with everybody. Not everyone's meant to support everyone. But I do feel very strongly that there are a core group of amazing guys and girls out there. Now, uh, wherever in the world you might be, for a short time or a medium or long time together, we'll run together, we'll... We'll network together. I have a very clear vision. And as I now am moving into vlog 16, I, I will be sharing a lot more 
of, of the purposes and plans. At this last week on Vlog 15, building the little table. Thank you for the encouragement there. If you can say anything real nice, it's better not to talk at all. Yeah, no, it is a humble, it's a humble beginning, but I'm so excited. I tell you, I am so excited about what is going to take place there. I really am. And um, track with me, you know, let's, let's see what, what comes out of these things. Uh, as I say, for the community, those guys who join the Spirit Soul Body Vlog uh, network or whatever we call that, um, I'll be sharing a lot more. I've got ribs, I've got chicken, and the steak's still in the marinade sort. So we'll be getting that going very soon. Special, very simple to do. Very yummy, very yummy. Yeah, um, many of you want to know about the grind, and many of you want to know about the wheat. I'll be talking about all of that. I don't think I'm going to get to it on today's vlog, so be patient with me, but I will in the weeks ahead for sure. Not only will we be grinding wheat, I promise you, we will also be uh, we will also be making bread, which will be very nice, very nice indeed. It's been such a busy week. I'm sure for you guys as well, but for us particularly. And um, I, I remember my 20 years as, as the co-founder and the chief exec chairman of God TV, how I ran around the world. And I'll tell you something. If you do remember me in prayer, if, if that's what you do, you pray. Pray for strength, because it's the one thing that I do struggle with now. I don't have the same energy or youth, strength, and I'm really talking about the body now. If I look at my spirit, if I look at my soul, no problem. I mean, the battle goes on day by day, the journey continues. But physically, as I now move, move north of 50, you, you begin to realize, hey, I'm mortal. My body is not able to do quite what it used to do. And um, again, it's another, it's another real strong reason why I feel it's important that as I spend energy on these vlogs and as we go more in depth into areas on the body, areas on the on the, the soul, the spirit, particularly with our physical bodies. I think there's a lot of things that as I journey and as I tackle things, I, I know I really want to have at least, God willing, another 30 years on this earth and longer if I can. And I want to be very fruitful. In my mind, my soul, my intellect, I'm young. I have energy. I, I'm thinking, I'm busy, I'm creative. Vision. Oh boy. Vision, vision, vision. In my spirit, it's alive, it's eternal. I feel the Father speaking with me, sharing with me. I'm excited, very, very excited. But in my physical body, that's the one area I'm really struggling with. You know, you, some of you are so gracious, but last week I made the comment of, yeah, I think I've lost my battle on the, on the diet slash exercise thing. I really need to pick it up. And that's the thing that's so important for us, particularly us of the older, older in years. We really have to take care of our bodies. Just sharing informally my thoughts today. So if you haven't liked uh, the fan page that Facebook insists that I set up, I invite all my friends to please come to the Rory Alec fan page because that's an unlimited page in terms of any number of people can join. It is also a much more effective way to communicate with you. So again, just look at that. If you haven't liked that page, please do like it. This very relaxed holiday here in Austria. Good morning, morning, morning. Good morning, morning, morning. Getting ready there for the advertising breaks. They're coming, ladies and gentlemen. From September onwards, we will be having adverts. Six minutes of adverts. Uh, in a one hour good morning world at the moment good morning world generally is around half an hour I do know you've got to get off to work morning noon or night you can watch this because if it's not live it's re-live as there's the new word going around uh, not uh, um, replayed or retaken or hey it is live or re-live so 
whenever you're watching, it's lovely to have you with me on this Monday, the 28th of June. The internet went down earlier on, so what you're seeing is slightly delayed, but hey, let me know what your comments are. Why did the mainstream media not cover at length such a huge march that took place on the weekend in London, the UK? People came from all over the UK to to let their voices be heard, and they peaceably protested or and and shared and and walked and sung and encouraged and made a statement to the government of the United Kingdom and this is not just a UK sentiment this is happening around the world people are very uncomfortable about not being given or the possibility of losing freedom of choice to choose it's like we're losing our freedoms in so many ways is there a is there a is there a virus absolutely do we need a vaccine in some way, shape, and form, yes. Now, I know there's big con- big arguments and discussions of, of what these vaccines are and, and were they, are they safe and et cetera, et cetera. I've been vaccinated, so has my, my whole family around me been vaccinated pretty much, and we're fine. But that's not the point. The point is, are we losing our freedoms? Love to hear from you on this Monday morning. Um, earlier today at the Grinder, I was just praying in the Holy Ghost, and I was sharing some things with my patrons. I'd like to share them with you guys as well. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. And if I pause for a moment on that statement, it doesn't matter how weak I feel, or how strong. Frankly, it's irrelevant um, if I have a relationship with him and he dwells within me. He is all-powerful. He is all-knowing and his spirit is everywhere while he dwells within me. This is profound thinking if you ponder on that for a moment. So it doesn't matter how weak I feel on Monday morning uncomfortable, I might be in pain, I might be angry, I might be frustrated, it doesn't matter what I feel, as I put on Christ Jesus, as I focus on Him this morning, everything has to start to submit and bow down. It doesn't mean to say it evaporates, it doesn't mean to say that it, the pain goes away, it doesn't mean to say that whatever discomfort you and I might be experiencing disappears. Sometimes it does and can and supernaturally be resolved by Him, but sometimes it doesn't. And then you hear that gentle whisper, it's like, I'm with you, I'm walking you through it. No, this is not of me. And no, I don't want you to remain here. But come, trust me, I will walk you through this weak situation, this frustrating, this painful situation, whatever it might be. By the same token, you and I might be going through profound breakthrough. Last week was an extraordinary week. I did a great deal or whatever it might be that you had victory with last week and you're starting this Monday elated. It's like, I'm on top of the world. I can, I can do all things, you know. And then we are on the other side. There's a ditch on the other side of the road, which is where we can actually get into our own strength. Yeah. And then you start to start to take a little from what is all him. He did it. He's given you the breath to breathe. He's given you the gifts to be able to do what you do and he's given you the breakthroughs no doubt open doors connected you with people so he is in the center of our world in the center of my world now, sometimes i i get a little proud or i get my head up <laughs> then i get humbled <laughs> welcome to humanity i don't tell you anything you are not aware of but i do say this on monday morning greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. And Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, is the author and the finisher of my faith. So my responsibility is to cling to him, press into him, love him more, learn to know him more as he reveals himself to you and I. All these other things, whether they're great whether they're awful or whether they're some way boring in between. We give thanks, we give praise, no matter what the circumstance, and we move forward. Amen. Amen, Brother Rory. 
<laughs> it's been lovely hanging out with you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday morning. I do know we all have to get off to work, and I pray that you will have a fabulous day. If your day is finishing, I hope you rest well. Celebrate your family. Enjoy. And by the way, those who are having a wonderful birthday today, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Until tomorrow, encourage somebody like you would like to be encouraged. And from me, lots of love. I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, hopefully. Bye-bye. Love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little bell notification at the bottom. Every time we post something, you'll be getting it. To all my patrons, thank you so much for your support, guys, without you. Until tomorrow morning, lots of love, keep smiling, keep shining. From me, Rory Alec. Welcome home. Get up, get up. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Good morning, morning, morning.